Hello YouTube, I'm Toby and uh, today I have yet another Lenovo uh, ThinkPad computer. This one is the uh, T410, um, the one I had a look at previously was the T61, but today we have the uh, T410. Now this computer does work, I tested it not uh, very long ago, however it did come without a hard drive. So I did install a, one of my old hard drives from my old Packard Bell into this and uh, it seemed to work just fine. However, the uh, uh, well, the internet card in this thing seems to be uh, non-functional since it can uh, connect wirelessly or through a Ethernet cable. So we'll have to take a look at that. Now, the internals of this computer: we do have four gigabytes of uh, RAM, and we have an i uh, Intel i7 um, M620, I believe it is, uh, clocked at 2.67 uh, gigahertz. I'm not sure what kind of graphics card we're looking at. I think we're looking at an uh, integrated uh, graphics card on this one as well. But just like the uh, T61, we're going to take this one apart and we're going to clean it out a little bit, uh, maybe take a look at the uh, internet card. So, enough talking for now. Let's uh, take it apart. Okay, so now we have um, the top part of the keyboard and all that off the computer. Over here we have our dirty, dirty fan. Uh, it's quite a bit of dust in there actually. This is the RAM slot. This is where our four gigabit uh, stick of RAM was hiding. So I think there might be a RAM slot too uh, back on the uh, other side. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that socket is, but it looks a lot like that. So I might be able to install some more RAM in this. We have the CMOS battery here, and we have our i7 processor down under this heat pipe right here. So I haven't been able to uh, completely figure out where the uh, wireless card is yet. I think it's either uh, this right here or it's down here. Uh, either way, it looks like I won't be able to have a uh, to install my replacement uh, card since I don't think they're compatible. But for right now, I'm just going to take the uh, the fan housing out and uh, clean it out a little bit. <laughs> All right, now we're outside. As you can see, it's quite cold. It's also quite cold out here. Okay, so here's our CPU. Uh, it looks like it does have an integrated GPU right next to it. Um, I was unable to get all the uh, all thermal paste off down in these crevices right here. Uh, I don't really want to stick my screwdriver in there and poke around. Uh, could do a lot of damage. This chip over here, I'm not quite exactly sure what it is, but it was uh, covered by a heat pipe and it has thermal paste on it, so it was probably important. Um, I'm gonna take the CPU out, give you a closer look at it, and then we're gonna apply a new layer of uh, thermal paste. Okay, here you have it. This is the i7 that was in this system. The, uh, so the socket is a PGA 989 so we have a new thermal paste on here and um, it's just a matter of putting the whole thing back together again um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the uh, wireless card I'll have to look into that at some other time when I can actually see which one it is um, I do believe it's this one up here but I don't have a replacement in this same uh, kind so well, it's just another project for another day. Okay, so uh, I did manage to install an uh, other 2 gigabit stick of RAM, so I have now uh, 6 gigabyte uh, total RAM. Um, I was unable to do anything about the uh, internet card. Uh, it's still not working, but I'll look into it some other day. Um, but for right now, I've cleaned it out, I've installed some more RAM, and uh, well, now it's just a matter of uh, figuring out what I'm going to use this computer for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.